I've seen changes. I mean, I, the reason I got into the movie business was because I went to see movies when I was a kid. You know, it's Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, Spencer Tracy, Clark Gable, Myrna Loy, you know, all those movies. And they basically played a big part in why I thought I found it so amazing to be a part of that business. But that's not the business I'm in now, obviously, because that's completely changed. I think in the late 60s, maybe even early 60s, the studios got taken over by the bankers. Previous to that, when the studio system existed, where they had all those stars, the, the, pe the people who were the creative people who decided on what got done, you know, they had the power. But as soon as the money got in, and if you think about United Artists bought by Transamerica, a company that was basically an insurance company. You think about Gulf and Western buying Paramount, you know, um, you basically start to see the shift of who makes the decisions. And sooner or later it got so big and so powerful that they needed to have bankers basically determine what got made and what doesn't get made. And everybody in the film business has an opinion. Not that their opinion, by the way, is not worthy and is not even a, may not be even a good opinion because it might be the best opinion. But <clears throat> the problem is now it's the bankers and they have power over the people who make decisions. And then it becomes a kind of cookie cutter mold, you know, and then they get into that. What worked yesterday should work tomorrow, and the answer is no, it doesn't.